Hey guys, and what's going on? So today, we're going to be going to do something a little bit different. I'll be heading to take a train to my old neighborhood up in the north zone of Rio. So let's go grab a train and check out this station. This is a central station in uh, Rio de Janeiro. I haven't been here in a long time. Let's go. So I haven't been to this station, like I mentioned, in like 10 years. Uh, we will have taken the orange line up to the Caxias, which was the neighborhood I lived at my first time in Brazil. Let's just take a look at the station here. It's basically a central station where you can grab trains that'll take you to other parts of uh, Rio in the city. As you can see, blue, yellow, different lines. I've only ever taken the train once and that was from Caxias to to this station so it's been a while since I since I took the train that's for sure let's find the ticket booth or a way to get through the get that in looks close I have McDonald's here So just a few bits of information about the station. It's about 165 years old, but that's just the, the actual functioning of the trains. Um, the whole building and whatnot, everything that was constructed is more recent. It's like 81 years old. So um, this place is, has some charm and it's, uh, you know, it looks, looks pretty nice. And now let's go into the train and we're taking Line, the red, the orange line, or red line, whatever you want to call it. I have my metro card. There's the train there. So we are going to Ipsikashi. Aqui dá pra todo mundo, né? Aqui dá pra todo mundo. Ah, 
well air conditioned, that's for sure. Not bad looking. Let's have a seat. Maybe I'll go to the end. Some of the chairs are in not that great quality. Like, look at that. <laughs> Someone ripped it off. So I made a bit of a mistake. It's actually uh, the, the yellow line. It's not the red line. So we're gonna walk a little bit more to the other side here. There's eight. I think it's just up ahead. There's the purple line. This one goes to another place that I've been a long time ago. Sarakaruna. Sarakaruna is the one we want. announcement but uh, I'm guessing it's like I don't even know what time it is probably 12:30 now so maybe in the next 10-15 minutes I don't imagine it takes so long for the train to get here
So I made to the Sashia station. I just don't remember which side I have to go. I think it's I think it's this way. So let's go down to the street and check out my old stomping ground. So Cachiz is a municipality that's in the north zone of Rio and it's quite a, it's quite big actually it's got a lot of people um, I only came to the downtown a few times when I was living here over the, the course of one year almost a year so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the main street here and show you guys the markets and where you can buy a whole bunch of crap you know, just like in uh, Madure you know so this place can be pretty intimidating for for new people so Pretty good. And always like got people selling all kinds of stuff. So let's get going. So this is the main hub of the market here in Kashias. Too much commercial music. That's the that's the real problem about coming through these. All these shops are playing like loud, you know, regular music that could screw you on the on the copyright. So let's keep going down. I know there's one whole street that you can walk down. It's a really, really uh, wide, like long ass street. It's closed off. We're almost there. It's really busy right now. Lunch time. Lunch hour. Look at those wires, guys. <laughs> so this is where it starts and then goes down this way. 
like an alleyway. This punk was harassing me to buy something. Look at this. Super busy. You'll find all kinds of people here and all kinds of stuff, that's for sure. And I'm I'm curious I'm curious to see whether this place has gotten worse when it comes to safety. It never really was a safe place, even when I lived here. So from what I've understood, it's it's gotten worse over the years. It's been eleven almost eleven years since I've been here. And I've never been back. And I'll explain why I never came back. But that's later. We're gonna walk right through here. Right through this busy ass, bustling spot of Duke of the Kashis. I had been wanting to do this video for like several months now. Just the weather was always shitty, or I was busy doing other content. Last time I was here was well over 10 years ago. Unbelievable. And I remember I bought some some soccer shoes. Jeez, I don't know what side to stay on. Looks like these uh, observers of the tennis game <laughs> up on the high chair. It's probably to watch out for thieves. I think it continues on, but I'm gonna go left and check out another spot. Like, there's just cars whipping around that corner. I'll cross when it's safe. I'm coming up to the spot I wanted to show you guys. In, a t in an area like this, I mean, the rule goes for any place in Brazil, but it's so compact here that you gotta watch your, watch your stuff, you know, especially I'm filming with a camera, and it calls, brings a lot of attention to itself. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm like death gripping this camera whenever I'm in a busy crowd. People looking at me, I'm filming. <laughs> I don't really care. So I wanted to come up and show you guys this square that I've never, I've actually never been here. So let's go. Welcome to Kashish. <laughs> it's 
So it's like a little square here. I don't know if it's officially a square. But essentially, this is a theater of Kashi's. I guess they're selling 80 years. I don't know what this guy's talking about. 80 years of uh, this theater. Unfortunately, homeless guy laying there. And in the distance, you can see the you can see the train station, that yellow strip just above there. That's where I arrived. I likely will be taking Uber back uh, because it's just it's pretty sketchy taking the subway or, or not the subway the the train here in Rio. Um, but yeah, so let me let's talk about why. You're probably wondering why I came to Kashi is my first my first place that I decided to live at. Let's see if I can go up this ramp, by the way, while I'm talking. I don't know. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. But so my very first trip that I came to Brazil uh, was in 2012. That was mainly just a two-week trip that I stayed for, uh, and it wasn't really I wasn't really planning on moving here. But I kind of met somebody, and that, that trip I was also, I spent the time that I was here with that, that, other, that other person. I don't know if I'm allowed to be up here, but anyway, I'm Canadian. <laughs> um, so yeah, I decided I wanted to, not, ju not just for the person, but I decided I wanted to move here because I kind of liked the lifestyle. The only error that I made was to move was to move here <clears throat> but the reason for that is that I didn't have I didn't have a lot of money back then so I wasn't gonna pay rent if I stayed here because I live with the girl and her parents okay and we'll I'm actually gonna show you where I if we're exactly where I was living at that time um, check out this view So I came, you know, partially because I wanted to be in Brazil and partially because I came for a girl. So that's why I moved to this uh, municipality or t I guess it's a, a town, I don't know. And yeah, didn't, we didn't stay together that long, maybe like two, uh, two years tops. I went back to Canada a bit out af about after 10 months living here. So I didn't live a full year, but I lived 10 months. And we never really got back together or anything like that. So that's why I never decided to come back here. Except to show you guys where I used to live 11 years ago. So now we're going to walk and show you a little bit more of Kashias straight away. Including where I used to live. Let me know what you guys think of this place so far. Would you move here? So I'm going to cross this little bridge and show you guys more of Kashias. Looks like the weather's holding up, so I got pretty lucky. So that's the the rail. And this looks like the city hall here. There we go. There's the city hall. There she is. Coming up to another square that I often pass by.
So there's always like a fair here. People selling stuff all the time. Like I said, there's the museum, Science and Life Museum. I've never been there. So when I was living here, I worked at, a, at an English school for a better part of, I'd say six months, seven months. And uh, I'm gonna show you where it is. I remember it well. This is all bringing back you know, pretty decent memories for me. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the statue. I don't know who it is. There's no markings. What's this happening, King? Eh? No? No? Okay. We got. It. No markings. And those people were really scowl on their face. <laughs> I'll write the description in the bottom as to who it is. Now I'm trying to remember which street this school was on. I believe it was up this way. Oh no, there it is. Found it. Fisk was the school that I worked at. And I did... Um, I did basically like some private lessons, some group group classes and things like that. And this, by the way, this fence on here was not there before. <laughs> that security fence was not there 10 years ago, which goes to show you how much a lot has changed in this place over the course of a decade, which says to me that it's not that safe or they've got a problem with thieves. So now I'm going to try and figure out how I get back to my old stomping grounds where I, where I used to live, basically. Um, the same route that I would take. My memory is not serving me that well, so I'm going to try and remember the exact route back and uh, show you guys where I used to live. It's not much to look at, but it's what I called home for 10 months. This is one of the other busy main streets here in Cushias. I remember coming up and down these streets many, many times. Even going to that subway restaurant over there. The subway restaurant is still there. <laughs> So I'm coming up to a square. Uh, 
that I used to pass by a lot too. It's kind of like a recreation area as well. Exercise, things like that. Soccer field. Man, it's like, it's like going through a time warp, you know? It feels like I never, you know, like I was here just yesterday. Doesn't seem like a lot's changed except for maybe the security part of it. I'm not sure. There's a soccer field. Often I would see a bunch of kids playing and whatnot. There's always some old men over here playing chess or any other board game cards. That, that hasn't changed. That is there all the time. And in the distance, there's a carrefour, which isn't that common here these days um, in Rio, in Brazil. But there's still one here. And I used to do all my shopping there. <laughs> Hilarious. So to be quite honest with you, I don't exactly remember the way, but I know more or less I used to come up and down this street. The other thing I wanted to mention is this neighborhood probably isn't <laughs> the safest. It wasn't that safe back in the day and it's probably definitely not improved. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to encounter here. Just saying. Um, I'm sure it's nothing. I, I mean, I was a much younger guy when I lived here and I didn't know shit, you know about much about Brazil and things like that so let's see how much danger we're going to encounter the reason why I'm saying this is because my ex who I believe still lives here um, let's just take a look at the artwork over there quickly cool graffiti so my ex, who I believe still lives here, as I mentioned, as I was saying, is had a cousin, basically. And I had already left this area. This was in 2014. And uh, he was basically killed in front of his own business. I never got to meet the guy. Apparently he was a really nice guy, but yeah. It was a really, really fucked up thing. I don't know. So that's why I know that this place is still, it might have been a hit, I don't know. But that's why I think this place is still not all that safe. And if you look in the distance, I believe you can see a favela. Don't know which one it is, but it definitely, it's close by. I didn't live in the favela, just so you go. <laughs> but I live sort of on the edge of it. So let's keep going. Over here, this is where I used to have acai years ago. I guess they don't sell it anymore. Não tô falando com vocês. Aqui ainda vende acai? Ah, é? Valeu. I don't know if he was a homeless guy or if he was doing drugs. I have no idea. I just told him I'm not filming you. I'm just I wanted to see if there's my old SI joint. <laughs> Look at the barbed wire on the top of this school, I guess. I guess it's not a, what it once was. Trying to remember the exact directions to my old place.
not far now. Get a lot of looks. <laughs> I know exactly where I am now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not far away. I'm probably like 10 minute walk away. I just don't remember if it's up this street or up this street. It's one of these, uh, I'll get there either way because I'm recognizing the, the hospital that's close by here. So, it looks a little bit more, I don't know, rough around the edges here. It could just be me not being used to living here, I don't know. But I don't remember all of this barbed wire here at all. So that's a little bit disturbing. <laughs> then again, it is uh, Zona North here in Rio de Janeiro, which is next to the favela, probably a little bit rougher, rougher areas. So let's keep going. I'm probably not going to film until I get close, at least on my street, unless I see something really interesting along the way. So, show you soon. My street, my old street. I can see the building that I used to live at from here. So, not far now. I just stopped to get a drink of something because it's it's kind of hot, and humid. Um, so nearly there. Just gonna show you guys a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna go into the to show you the exact building or whatever, but nearly there and I'm kind of excited to see what the area looks like it's been a long time as I mentioned let's hope that it's calm cool and collected so this is actually this is actually the spot I used to have eyesight I made a big mistake That's it right there. That's the spot. I didn't think there was a, an area you could just have, sort of hang out. So that's the SIE spot. I knew it wasn't that far from my house, so... That last spot was just somewhere similar. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you... When you don't come to a place for more than 10 years. Jesus. Alright, let's keep going. It's looking a little bit more sketchy up here. I used to buy fruits at this place, wow. It's still here. After so many years. See those cruddy looking buildings up there? I lived in one of those. And I'm gonna... I'll end the video actually up on this street because it's gonna be... I have an interesting story to tell about it. I can't believe I'm here after so long. Jesus. I remember coming up this street every week. It's crazy. Nostalgia. It affects you.
is my old address. I think it's safe to go in and film. Let's find out. Remember I used to buy water here? Holy shit. This is crazy, man. Blast from the past. So I lived in that building right there, directly in front. Maybe it wasn't, <laughs> actually. I'm trying to remember. No, it's this, it's this one, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. I was facing the cemetery. That's where I used to live, right there. It's crazy. Those trees weren't even there back then. Could it have been this way? See, I don't even remember which building it was. It was either this one or Jesus, I don't remember. I'm sorry guys, I, I just don't remember exactly which one it was. But I'm, I have a feeling it was right here. I think this is the one. What do you guys think of these buildings? Would you live here? And I'm not I'm not ripping on it at all. Don't don't take that the wrong way. I'm not I'm totally not like insulting poverty or anything like that. I'm just you know, it is what it is. And I hate that phrase, but it's true. So let's go. And I'm going to go to that street and finish off the video there. It's not much more I'm going to show you here in Kashi is. I'll tell you one thing, the noise was, was crazy whenever there was a game, fireworks and shit going off, you know, not fun. This guy looks like he's selling water. So I'm heading out of here. Go to the street and I'll talk about the last story. And then I'll close the video. Yeah. Sad when the video is ending. It's actually quite empty the street right now. Okay, so this street here, as I was going to talk about a little bit earlier, a few things on this street. Now, my ex's parents had a little shop up there, a little garage where they basically Renov not renovate, like redid sofas and things like that, you know, refurnished, that's how I would say, refurnished. Um, once they were, they were assaulted there, I think they, somebody stole their car, a motorcycle pulled up, robbed their car. Uh, you'll see a lot of this here too, rubbish everywhere, garbage. Anyway. Motorcycle pulled up, took their car away. Another story, um, basically I knew a guy, I don't remember where he lived, I don't remember, was this house or up the street? I don't know if he's still alive. So I knew a guy who also lived on this street. I don't know what happened to him. What was the third story that I was going to mention? Yeah, there used to be a house up here where we would have parties and things like that. I'll show it to you guys when I get up there. Looks way different up here.
That pink house is where we used to go to and have parties. Here's their old workshop. I guess they don't do that anymore. Yeah. And I can't find my friend's house, so I'm gonna head back to the downtown and head, head home. It was fun showing you guys around Kashias. I had a good time reminiscing in the past. So, until the next video, I don't know where that's going to be next, but if you guys have any suggestions, leave them below. What did you think of Duke Kashias? Would you come visit here? Would you visit? You know, <laughs> likelihood of you guys not, you know, whatever place is what it is. It has a lot of, it has a few positives and it has quite a few negatives. And there's the favela right up ahead. So I'm back here at the square to finish off the video. Now, it looked like a pretty crappy place to live and it had its ups and downs. But I, I would say all in all it has a special place in my heart because it was the first neighborhood I kind of lived in, in Brazil, in Rio. But you know, I take it as a as a life experience, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. It really brought me back. It really was a uh, flashback for me. You know, kind of crazy. So, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that will be. And uh, yeah, this is Nick signing off from Duque de Caxias in the North Zone in Rio. Peace and take care.